welcome back to the dojo here at Heirlooms Music in Singapore. And I am surrounded by a gaggle of Gibsons, a gaggle of L-series Gibsons to be precise. I'm holding in my hands a 1918 L3, Gibson L3. Ooh. And then what we've got here is also a 1924 L2, a 1918 L1, and an early 20s L4. Whew. Look at these things. They're all beautiful. They say the Gibson, not Gibson. This thing here is the L3, 1918. It has a trapeze tailpiece, ebony violin bridge. You've got this thing. This is, these are all carved tops carved arch top, so it's a solid piece of wood. In this case, you've got a spruce top with birch back and sides and a maple neck, solid piece of maple. And it's thick too. You know, you hear all this talk about baseball bat necks. Well, this thing is more like an oar. This thing is really, really, it's got a kind of softy V shape. It really fills the hand. I think when you play it, what you need to do is really play with intent because what you've got here, you got here is you've got to be squared up with it. You can't kind of fluff chords because it'll sound really terrible. No, but this thing's really nice. And look at this burst. These are early bursts. This burst is like, it's, uh, I guess it's like that hand rub, the French rub like you'd see in violins, which is a little different from frottage. So get your minds out of the gutter, brothers and sisters. The L in the L series stands for Lohr, L-O-A-R, the surname of one of Gibson's most famous luthiers. He brought the mandolin sort of aesthetic to guitars, and that's why all these guitars have carved arch tops. It's not pressed, it's not ply, it's not flat. These are carved. So you've got a carve here, like a mandolin, it kind of drops off. You've also got a nice little carve here. And on this one, a carve in the back. And what's really nice about this is when you, when you hit these little resonant chords, you feel it right below the ribs. It just comes through. It's really, really nice. The sound projected here is a little high-pitched. It's kind of not as expansive as a similar Martin of, a, of around the same time but it's got its own little characteristics. And you know, bluegrassy thing, country. Or even, of course, you know, the Delta. It's really, really nice. And then let's check out this thing here. This 1924 L2. Also spruce top. It's got maple back, maple neck, ebony. You've got a different type of bridge here, the adjustable bridge. They started getting a little upscale. These things. They had different price points, different quality, uh, depending on the guitar. The, um, the L3 here was, actually when it was new, you could get these for $35. It's got a very different sound, if you can appreciate the difference. I'll try one chord here. got a different sound projection. Maybe that's because of a different bridge. It's got a, the first of these two pneumatic bridges. You can see it's adjustable, but it's a piece of ebony. Um, very, very nice little guitar. Small. Doesn't give you that same feeling here, but projects a little bit louder. And this is, believe it or not, this is all original. This is an all original guitar from 1924. Love it. Check this one out here. Also, from around the same time, this is the L4. 
And this one, this is like their flagship model. Look at this. It's big, it's bold. This has a neck very much like jazz arch top. So I could imagine this is a, you know, something that you play and dance in the Charleston to or something like that, I don't know. It's loud and it's proud. This also has, this has a rosewood fretboard, ebony, ebony bridge, trapeze here. You've got mahogany wood all over the place here. I think this might be a mahogany neck actually. We'll have to check. But this also has all original parts and this is from the early 20s. It's got some really nice little design touches. This is clearly the flagship model of the L series. <laughs> This is something that you might find in your drawing room. Whereas this one here, this one, L1 Gibson, right here. And this isn't the only year that they did the uh, brown paint job. It's got a real nasally honky squonky sound. And in fact, the L1 is commonly now known as the Robert Johnson guitar, but True guitar geeks will know that it was only after 1925 that the L1 got the shape of which it's known today. Before that, like this one, 1918, you had the trapeze and violin bridge set up, but then it went to the more traditional mounted bridge. So anything that you see nowadays, which they call the Robert Johnson guitar, is basically a reproduction of the second iteration of the L1 series. But this is the original. This is it. This has a spruce top. This has birch back and sides. It's got a maple neck and it's got a rosewood fretboard with ebony violin bridge. This is a hundred years old and it is a fantastic piece. And there's quite a bit of detective work to find out some of the uh, years and makes of these guitars uh, because what happens is Gibson when they made their guitars in these days, what they did was they would put a sticker inside the guitar and then the factory workers, the craftsmen would actually write the serial numbers and the model numbers and all the details in pencil. So after a hundred years, uh, it fades. So we had to go check it out and we used not only our friendly internet, but we used this. This is a currency detection microscope. And what this does is it emits a ultraviolet little beam here, which we shined inside the sound hole and we kind of moved it around and we were looking for raised patterns where the lead had faded away after all these years to find out if there's any indents or any markings, be able to see those, read those, interpret it, and then be able to find the serial numbers and match them up for when they were made and which model this was. This is what we had to do with these guys, especially with the uh, 1918 models because, um, yeah, pencil markings had gone, only the imprints remained. It was a little nice little bit of guitar forensic, which uh, I thought that was kind of cool. Anyways, this thing, this is tuned in some exotic tuning called the Mauna Loa tuning. And it is like all these Gibsons available to take a look at, to purchase, to try out, to compare over here at Heirlooms Music in Singapore. So come down to the dojo, check them out, come and say hi and check out some of the other guitars that we've got here. Peace. Mm -hmm.